Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for February 26th through March 4th. This is for the sign of Capricorn. This card just fell off. You think I should take it? I think I probably will. Anyway, this is for the sign of Capricorn and generally my readings are love readings so we will just see what comes up. Just need to remind you to take what resonates and leave the rest. Oh, Five of Swords, reversed. Power struggles, you might be going through some power struggles. You might be wanting to prove yourself from to somebody or needing to prove yourself to somebody. Oh, there could be a partner, you know, that you need to prove. There could be some power struggles or some instability with a partner, okay? And there could, there could definitely be some, um, conflicts okay you guys may be considering uh breaking you know because the five of swords upright is severance you could be you could be going through a breakup or you could be considering or talking about it talking about going through a breakup or you're just thinking about it you know you're thinking about walking away from this situation but right now you're trying to prove yourself to this person you're trying to i think that you're still trying to work on it and this is not going to be for everybody take what resonates and leave the rest it appears that there's some confusion here. There is some confusion. Could be over money. This argument that's going on could be over money. Could be over finances. Um, somebody may not be giving enough. They may not be contributing to the financial success of the relationship. That could certainly be the case. Somebody may be taking more money or, or, or something like that. It appears that... You have a decision to make. You have to make some sort of decision and really consider the consequences. Because, you know, do you want this relationship or not? This is love or money. That's what generally what this card is. Um, so I, it appears to be love or money. So this is, a, this is an issue here. It appears that somebody is maybe overspending or they may not be on the same wavelength as you financially. And that's causing some... Uh, worries, okay? I feel like you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, somebody is overspending. I think there's there's a loss of money here and it's causing some 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 arguments, okay? If there you know, this could be you if you're on your own as well. If you don't have a partner, you could be feeling like you don't have enough money to survive right now or that you need more money. There's a lack of funds, okay, or funds are being squandered away, and I feel like you've come to a point, or somebody has come to a point where they're going to say something. I'm not just going to sit back and let this happen, you know, so it's definitely, I see maybe perhaps there's some kind of argument regarding money, and the thing is, is you've, you've worked really hard, you've worked really hard, and you have this... Um, It's not like you have just worked in vain, okay? You've, you've become successful, and it's, it hasn't been easy. It's like, you know what? I'm not just going to throw this away. I'm not just going to throw this money away. It's like, I, this, is, this, is, this is more than just manifestation. This was hard work. I mean, my, this is my hard work you're squandering. So I feel as though you are going to speak up. You are going to say, hey, no more. I'm done. You no. Know, nope. You're not going to spend my money. I'm not spending my money anymore. I'm done. Because, you know, this is about um, saving what you've earned, okay? So I feel like, oh, this is definitely an issue here. I feel as though you have these doubts that something is going to work out with a partner because of because they're willing to shed their old habits. They're, they're unwilling. They're unwilling to change their ways as far as spending goes. And that's an issue for you. I feel like you've been objective. You've taken the lead. You've tried to do the right thing. You've tried to communicate with this person and they're not changing. So you're thinking about letting them go. That's what I see. It's like, you know what? I, you know, I've come a long, long ways. I'm not sure I'm going to let you take from me at this point. You know, if you're not going to give equally, then... I'm not sure that we can even be involved at this point. I see that you have become very successful and you're not going to put up with it. <laughs> Something like that. Um, 
somebody's on really, really thin ice with you, okay? That's what's going on. Somebody's on thin ice. And generally my readings are love readings, but the last few weeklies I have done have not been. So this must not be a, a time of lovey-dovey hoo-ha. So I, it appears to me that you're considering leaving a situation with a person that isn't financially stable. They're on thin ice. They're living in darkness. They're not thinking clearly about where the money's going. They're squandering it, and it's making you feel unstable financially. It's like, you know what, I'm not, I don't think I can. I'm not sure that I can. I can do this anymore. So that's this part of the reading. I feel as though, you know, you have a lot of... Uh, success and you don't want it just thrown away you know I see a lot of leadership here where you're 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 taking the leadership role you know and you have to in this case you could be dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius I think I already said that but it feels as though if you don't take the lead, you're going to get used, you know, something like that. You know, I, got, I have to take the lead in this situation and stand up for the right thing. Otherwise, this person is going to, to take it all, you know. Yeah, you're holding on. And the thing is, is this other person want, isn't. You know, you want to you wanna save the money. You want to hold on to it. But whoever you're dealing with is like, they have no consideration for all the hard work you've done. It's like they don't even resist. It's like, oh, yeah, I just spend my money wherever I want. And it's no big deal because so-and-so has plenty of it. And I'm just going to spend it. It really doesn't matter. i got to turn this phone off. I'm sorry. I thought that I had. It says mute. But apparently it's not. Whatever. Ugh. Anyhow. Magician again. Okay, so now we have the magician twice, so it's very prominent here. Your awareness. You're very aware of what is going on. This isn't no joke. And that's how you're looking at it. My money, my finances, my my stability, all that I've created, all that I've, I've acquired, this is no joke. I'm a completely aware of your um, inability to save or inability to think twice before you spend money. I'm completely aware. I feel like you have a lot of success that you have manifested you've you've grown i mean you have all this success within you and somebody's taking advantage of you and it feels as though you're going to be like hell no nope nope i'm not going to be involved in this i'm not you may feel like you know somebody is just causing a lot of insecurities I mean this is what this is now we have these fives I mean there's a lot of insecurities five 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 fives are insecurities instability power struggles um, freedom okay somebody is spending the money too freely okay that's what's going on here and you're like hell no hell no uh-uh you're gonna squander away my success I don't think so and it could be causing some family feuds there's a lot of disharmony. I think that you're considering walking away from somebody. You're considering letting this dream of yours die in a relationship because I don't, I'm not looking for this. I'm not looking for you to just throw it all away. So it really feels like to me that there's some unhappiness here in a relationship with another person because they're not respecting your success do you know what i'm saying they're not respecting all that you've earned all that you've done you know what i mean and so i think that you're you're ready to like almost shed them say goodbye um yeah you're ready to move on i think i think that you are ready to move on you're ready to say see you later because i see that things are heading you are heading in the right direction but whoever you're dealing with is on completely thin ice they they can't they don't save money they don't they don't care about money. They don't think twice about money. And you're on a completely different level. I see you being very successful in anything that you do, uh, Capricorn. There's a lot of success here. Success. And you're the magician is success. Okay? You have a lot of life experience behind your back. You've, you've worked hard. 
You've worked hard. And whoever you're dealing with isn't quite the worker that you are. And I feel like they're they're causing you to feel very insecure. And so that's why you're considering heading in a different direction. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna leave if you don't control your control yourself. Um I feel as though maybe you've been expecting this for a while. Okay, maybe you you thought this was going to happen anyway. You've been just been waiting for the right time. I feel like you're somebody, you know, somebody needs to increase their appreciation of you. The thing is is that this is the Wheel of Fortune. This is a new chapter. Many of you are heading down a new road that brings you even more success. Okay? When the Wheel of Fortune comes up, there's a change of course. With this change of course, right next to this Chariot card, and this Ten of Cups reverse, and this Three of uh, Rods, which is the Three of Wands, it appears to me that you're focused on the future. You're not looking back. You might leave a relationship. I don't know. You might leave something behind. That's what it looks like to me. You might leave something behind and physically move. I mean, you might just move and get the hell out to start this new life, to start this new chapter, to head towards even more success. I think that whatever has happened has, is bringing you closer to your life's purpose. And it's something where things really do happen in your favor. Okay, things are going to be happening in your favor because you're taking action. You're not just sitting back. You're not going to let somebody take advantage of you. I'm moving forward. And if you don't appreciate me, if you don't appreciate what I have to offer, then maybe you're not in my future. Something like that. Yeah, I feel like you guys are headed towards happiness. You are you're headed towards bliss, and you're headed there pretty quickly. I think the tides are turning for you. I feel as though many of you are receiving a stroke of, of fortune or a stroke of good luck, even though you have to let something die first. I mean, you have to let something go. It looks like something is ending. Maybe you're moving away from something. You know, you have to let something go and start this new journey. But I feel like you are starting this journey. And shortly after you move on from whatever this is that's causing these insecurities and instabilities, whenever you move on from this, I feel that happiness comes almost instantly. I see that you guys master your emotions. There's no crying over it. I don't see any uh, ball baby bullshit. I feel like you guys just move on and you're like, okay, I'm ready now. I'm ready to build my empire, even if I have to do it on my own. So I feel like happiness comes. I see good luck. I see fortune. I see um, you now this is lack of balance. That's lack of balance right there with the temperance card. Lack of patience. Lack of compromise. What are you not? You're not comp. That's what it is. I'm not going to compromise with you. Yeah. No, I'm not going to compromise with you. I've earned all this. I'm not going to compromise. It isn't going to make me happy at all. I feel like somebody's absolutely been overindulging and you're saying, no, 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 nope. I see all this strength here where you take the lead. You're taking the lead in your own future. It's like, no, no. You take your overindulging and shove it up. You know what? You know, that's exactly what it is. It's like you're speaking up. You're like, no, 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 no. And I think you're heading out. This could even be somebody new that's entered your life and you see how, how uh, spendy they are. And you're like, nope, not interested. Okay, I see like this is very, I'm out of here. Goodbye. I'm moving on. I'm not doing this. Out of here. You know, and you're starting on your own journey. You may be starting a new journey all by yourself, but you're quite happy about it. I don't see that you're, you're stewing over it. You're crying about it. You're moving forward. You're, you're, your ships are coming in and you're making it happen. I'm not going to just stay here. So I feel like you guys are leaving a situation this week or walking away or rejecting an offer from somebody who isn't frugal enough. This person is not, um, thrifty. Okay, this person just, eh, whatever, you know, and they don't even care. So I think that you're you're like, no, no, I'd, I'd rather head down a different road. And this different road um, 
is good for you because I see that it brings you happiness and it brings you bliss and it brings you financial uh, freedom and it, your ships come in even more. I feel like you guys are headed in the right direction. You're making the right choices. I see good luck and good fortune here and you guys starting a new journey with faith and trust and not crying about the past. You know what? Whatever. Whatever. If you, I, I don't even need this shit. I'm not going to stew over it. So I feel like this is a week of actually, you know, this is a, there's a, this isn't a week of new love coming into your life. Or if it if it was, then you probably are going to reject them because they don't have any stability in their life. You know, they don't they're not financially stable. Whoever you're dealing with is very spendy, and you're like hell no, nope, goodbye, I'm out of here. You know, because you guys are so thrifty and you're so. You're so successful, and if this person doesn't appreciate that, then you don't need them, and that's how it, it feels. It's like, you know what, if you don't see what you're doing, and you try to communicate with them, it seems like you try to communicate with them. If you don't see what you're doing, if you don't understand the logistics of this, then I'm not interested. So it, that's what it looks like to me. It looks like somebody's on really thin ice and you are heading towards victory and success in your life and you're not interested in this person that is insecure and unstable. I'm not interested. I'm sorry. I can't. I'm not, I'm not interested. The Six of Pentacles reversed. Somebody is very spendy and I think you're going to reject their offer. I'm not interested. I save my money. <laughs> that kind of thing. So if you're single, you could get an offer for somebody and you reject it because, you know, not interested. And if you are with somebody, you could think about, you might be thinking, there may be an argument with your partner about money. You know, there may be a, an argument that's like, you know what, if you can't stop spending money where this isn't going to work, you know. So I think this is a week about um appreciation whether somebody can appreciate the value of money or not okay what do you desire you now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them. They'll rush into your life as if by magic. And that's why the Wheel of Fortune is here and the Chariot. And that's things happening fast. I think I said that a while back. Once you make this decision to move forward, away from this whatever, good fortune comes instantly. And as I think I said that earlier. I can't remember because I, I let it go out of my mouth so fast. I just let it, whatever comes, I say. So, um... I think that things are going to happen very quickly because of the, the decisions that you make. I feel that you're making very clear decisions that are heading you in the right direction. All right? You're on the right track is what I'm trying to say. So whatever you're thinking, this card that just came out tells me that, yes, you made the right decision. Talk to you later.